Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm doing a January 2020 roundup. Hey guys, I thought it'd be fun at the end of every month this year, or a little bit into the month, <laughs> because I, I'm a procrastinator. I wanted to do, anyways, <laughs> a roundup of the last month of what I all did crochet-wise, and if I achieved any of my 2020 goals, and also if I made any of my projects for the county fair this year. Our county fair starts on August 28th this year and runs through September 5th and the entry day is whatever Saturday is after August 28th. I think it's the 30th. But <laughs> anyways, I, want, I thought it'd be fun to do that every month to um, just kind of round up the month and see what I all made and if I did any of my goals. So let's do January. Alright, I have my notes in my lap. So for January, I finished 17 items. And I will pop them up, I guess. <laughs> and I'll try to link them all below, too. Uh, they're all, they all should be shown and linked in my January No Kitchen Name episodes. But I will just kind of condense them all into this video, too, if you want to check them out. If you missed an uh, episode, and then you can just check it out now. <laughs> but I made 17 items. And um, three of them are pretty big. My biggest ones that I finished uh, in January were my Jaden Stitches uh, 2017 Calendar Blanket my big granny shawl and the valentine's day countdown those were my biggest items and then i did have some little items and uh that was pretty much the squares for the blanket i made some dishcloths and a scrubby and a jar cozy and uh a cowl to enter in the chronically crocheting um crochet along <laughs> i forgot what it's called okay for now for goals i did actually accomplish some goals in January. So m one of my main goals is to enjoy what I make. And I did enjoy everything I made in, in January. I didn't uh, work on anything that I felt was tedious or taking forever or that I just didn't want to do. So that counts as goal completed <laughs> for January. The second one was de-stash. Now I didn't film any of this because I, I did it while just cleaning in general. But I did de-stash a ton of my yarn. I actually sent out some happy mail to some people. <laughs> And then I donated a bunch of it to our local um, senior center. So uh, it was just yarn I knew I wasn't going to use. And I would have liked to have saved it for giveaways and Happy Mail. But shipping is super expensive. And I thought it would be nice to just benefit someone locally to me. But I did save back a bunch. I got it over there for giveaways in the future. I wanted to save some. That would be easy giveaway um, fodder. <laughs> so yeah, there are giveaways coming up soon, y'all. And then the third goal that I completed in Janu January was um, to finish the Jade and Stitches 2017 calendar blanket. I did finish it completely in January. It's all the way done and it's packed up in a box waiting for our county fair this uh, August slash September. And that brings me to fair projects. I did complete two fair projects in January, kind of accidentally. I wasn't planning on making one of them a fair project until after I finished it. But the first one is the Jaden Stitches 2017 calendar blanket. I'm going to enter into my local county fair as the baby afghan. And then the second one is going to be entered in the category other holiday decorations that isn't a wreath. <laughs> and it is the Valentine's Day countdown. I'm going to enter that as the other holiday um, category. They do a holiday category for Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Halloween. And then they have the other one that you can enter, you know, 4th of July themed or... Um, Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, any other holiday. Actually, maybe not 4th of July because they have a patriotic one too. So that would, you could do that. But, uh, and then they also have a wreath category. So I gotta make some wreaths this year too. <laughs> I didn't make many last year for the fair, but I do plan on making them this year for the fair. So yeah, that's, that's basically what I did in January. I did, um, I did good with making items and finishing items. I didn't have any active whips come over from January to February. They were all done. I have started one since then, and then I do still have a lot of hibernating whips, but I'm I'm working on them. My goal for February is to finish the Unraveled Mitten uh, 2019 Scrap Buster Crochet Along Blanket. Oh, it's a mouthful. <laughs> but I'm hoping to finish that. I'm, I'm actually going to get started on that uh, maybe today or tomorrow on the next square. I have 12 squares done, so I have 12 more to do, and then sew them together and make the border. So I'm almost halfway done. One more square, and I should be about halfway done. <laughs> And uh, with counting the sewing together and the border. 
but yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to make this video every at the end of every month to just recap the um, the last month. <laughs> so all the links to all the things that I finished in January will be down below. I'll also link my goals video below so that you can uh, see what my goals were and what I've completed. I did successfully complete three <laughs> this month, so I think that's a pretty good start. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.